to 50 rapid fire bookish questions with me featuring my bears i definitely would pick hardback i used to really love paperback books because the hardback books are really really heavy but also paperbacks are so nice to carry around and they don't weigh like 3,000 pounds definitely dust jacket off i don't really care if it's secondhand or new copies i like to have my own copies but a lot of times secondhand copies are pretty well taken care of you're the goodest you're the goodest dog huh Ooh. Audiobooks or not? Definitely audiobooks, but sometimes audiobooks can be hit or miss. Um, like sometimes the narrator is great and then sometimes they are the worst. I definitely do not cover by. Um, I definitely love books with really beautiful covers. If I'm at a bookstore or the library and I wanna see if a book is good, I always look it up online before I buy it. A good book with a bad cover. I don't think I've read a good book with a bad cover. I mean, I guess the Throne of Glass books aren't, like, I don't really love the covers on there. They're like, just the girl in the front. Any of the Ember and the Ashes books, those are really great books, but I feel like those covers aren't like, as nice as I feel like they should be. Bad book with a good cover is definitely A Court of Thorns and Roses. Although I don't like that cover on there. I just don't like the book either. The first book I ever read, I have no idea. Something when I was like a baby baby, my parents used to read to me all the time. The Queen of Volts in the Ace of Shades series by Amanda Foody. The Ace of Shades series by Amanda Foody. My favorite genre, hands down, always is young adult fantasy books. It's the Throne of Glass series. Genre I never reach for would probably be like westerns or anything classical or any historical fiction. Although I would definitely read historical fiction if it also had fantasy in it. I only read poetry if the poetry is already in a book, like an oracle or a prophecy of some sort. I do not read popular science. I definitely read a lot of middle grade books. I am literally reading all of the Percy Jackson books all over again right now. Your girl is poor, does not have a book box subscription. My favorite bookish item, clothes and t-shirts that I wear. This is actually my current bookmark. I hope it's easy. Is it, is it auto? Is it focusing? Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is currently my bookmark. It's a little magnetic thing. It helps me point to the exact line and spot that I left in a book. And I just love plants and succulents. The weirdest object I've ever used for a bookmark is my TV remote. I feel like this is the same question as the second question. Are book jackets different from dust jackets? Oh. Alexander Gideon Lightwood. Oh, Elias Vitur Viturius? Elias and Leia from An Ember in the Ashes. Although I don't know what's gonna happen to them in the fourth book, oh my gosh. Favorite book villain is definitely Samael in the latest like Shadow Hunter book. He's so fun and I love him. He like, I want him to be my best friend but also don't want him to take my children and murder them. Favorite book adventure? Six of Crows and that giant tank that they just took from the palace all the way to the boat. That was so extra. Hands down a series every single time. I can't do standalone books. I need like 15 books with like the same group of characters forever. I don't even know why authors write books with other characters. I definitely love books with paragraphs. So it's like all the books that I read, but I, I am not against like comic books and books with illustration. My favorite book adaptation has got to be Game of Thrones and also The Witcher, which are adult books that I have actually never read. I would prefer TV adaptations, but that's only because I read series. Favorite book world is definitely the Grishaverse world. I love all of the powers that everybody has, and then I just really enjoy all of the characters from Six of Crows and King of Scars. Third person point of view, several perspectives, and probably, I really love humorous books, but they don't always have to be, they just gotta be good. I actually just recently read is the Ace of Shades series. A popular book that I hated is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. My favorite childhood reads, definitely the Magic Three House books, Magic, Fantasy, and Learning. A book that changed my life is the Throne of Glass series. Lexa, my podcast co-host, was the one that recommended the books to me and it kind of just sparked back up my love for reading. 
Um, I hadn't read anything for a couple of years and so Ben made me want to read a lot more and I haven't really stopped since pretty much most books that I was forced to read. Especially I took IB English. Don't take IB English, they have boring books. I definitely do not buy to collect. I have books of my favorite series and then I just borrow all the rest of my books from the library or from Lexa. I do donate books. My favorite reading snack is hot Cheeto puffs or hot Cheeto fries or hot Funyuns or regular Funyuns, any of those. My favorite reading position is laying. I just, my favorite thing to do is lay. It doesn't really matter. I can't use natural light at night. I definitely love reading inside on my bed or on the couch as long as I get to lay. I guess I would keep it smooth because I just like the way it looks, but also the beauty of a broken spine and a used cover and just like a well-loved book. Yeah, I can't really pick. I do not read in other languages as I do not speak other languages or read other languages. I want to finish all of Rick Riordan's books. I've read all the Percy Jackson's, The Heroes of Olympus, and The Cain Chronicles, and now I'm going to be reading the Magnus Chase books and then the Trials of Apollo, and that's it. He finished. He just released the last Trials of Apollo book, and he's done it with that world. So sad. Oh, I'm so excited for A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir, which is the fourth book in the Ember and the Ashes series. I love that series. It's one of my favorite series ever, and it's coming to an end in December, and I'm sad about that. Do I have a favorite book influencer? I just joined Bookstagram the past couple months and I have found so many people who I love. Um, I can't remember all of their handles off the top of my head, but I'll put them right here for you. Right here. I'll put them right here and right here so that you guys can know them, learn them, get to know them, and fall in love with them as I find. I definitely have a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's what you're watching right now. And I do have a blog. I definitely have a podcast where I talk all about YA fantasy books with my friend Lexa. So definitely check that out. I'll link it down below in the description. My social media feed is at Cynthia Huen Hout. We'll link it below so that you don't have to try to spell it all out. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely hit a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, bye.